but he is not fat so you can give attributes to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to almighty god but don't give a different forms if you say that dr zakir naik is only the president of islamic research foundation and nothing else then the definition is wrong because while i am the president of islamic research foundation i am also the husband of my wife mrs faraz zakir naik i am also the father of my son farig zakir naik so you can't single out one attribute and say this attribute alone is god almighty all put together is dr zakir naik similarly when you are describing allah subhanahu wa taala we can very well say he's rab he's rahman he's rahim but if you say that rab is a different allah and rahman is a different allah subhanahu wa taala and khalik is a different allah then that is not the concept of allah subhanahu wa taala in islam all put together itself is allah subhanahu wa taala this is what major religions make mistake they pick up one attribute and they call him a different god they pick up another attribute give it a different form and call it another god in islam all these attributes put together is allah subhanahu wa taala you can't single out one attribute and say this alone is allah subhanahu wa taala as the swami ji rightly said that if you call water in urdu or hindi pani it is the same you can call water in arabic as my in the south indian languages as tani it remains the same you can call water by any name it remains water water can be called as my in arabic as pani in hindi it can be called as tani in the south indian language it remains the same but suppose someone tells me that water and pani same and if i ask him that what is the definition of water so he starts describing me that water is actually pani is the same as water pani is a mixture of water to which tea leaves have been added to which little bit sugar has been added little bit milk has added what he is describing is actually a cup of tea he is not describing water water and pani is the same thing in different language but the moment you say that pani means something which has got milk has got tea leaves has got sugar and added water it is no longer water the word is correct the attribute is correct but the definition is wrong you can give various attributes to allah subhanahu wa taala but it should not conjure up a mental picture the moment you give an attribute to god almighty and have a different picture we muslims don't have any mental picture for rahman or rahim allah subhanahu wa taala has got no form the moment a human being starts giving a different mental picture to different attributes of god almighty that is where he falters and deviates away from the correct concept of allah subhanahu wa taala otherwise the holy quran says in several places besides saying in surah isra chapter 17 verse number 110 qul dulla abdur rahman ayya ma tad'u falal asmaul husna say call upon him by allah or by rahman by whichever name you call upon him to him belongs the most beautiful name you can call him by any name but it should be a beautiful name the same message is repeated in surah araf chapter number 7 verse number 180 in surah taha chapter number 20 verse number 8 In Surah Al-Hashar, chapter number fifty-nine, verse number twenty-four, that to Allah belongs the most beautiful name. But still, we Muslims we prefer calling Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala by the Arabic name Allah instead of the English word God. You know why? Because the English word God it can be played around with. You can play mischief with the English word God, which you cannot do with the Arabic word Allah. If you add an S to God. it becomes gods plural of god there is nothing like plural allah kul huwa allahu ahad say he is allah one and only if you add a d e s s to god it becomes goddess a female god there is nothing like male allah or female allah in islam allah is unique allah has got no gender if you add a father to god it becomes godfather he is my godfather he is my guardian there's nothing like allah abba or allah father in islam if you add a mother to god it becomes godmother 
There's nothing like Allah mother or Allah Amin Islam. Allah is a unique word. If you prefix a tin before God, it becomes tin God, a fake God. There's nothing like tin Allah in Islam. That's the reason we Muslims, we prefer calling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the Arabic name Allah instead of the English word God. I would like to end my talk by quoting a verse of the Holy Quran from Surah Anam, chapter 6, verse number 108, which says, Revile not those people who worship gods besides Allah. Abuse not those people who worship gods besides Allah. Lest in their ignorance they will abuse Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa akhru dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Now we go into the second session of today's evening, which would be called the rebuttal and response session. In this, our learned speakers present today would give a clarification on the comments made by the other two speakers, as well as they would give comments and remarks on all the three religions Hinduism, Christianity, and Islam taken together for proper understanding on each religion from their respective point of view and perspective. May I call upon the respected Swami Golokananda, who is from the Sri Ramakrishna Mutt, to deliver his response. Swami Golokananda. Friends, the first session was for us to speak about the concept of God from our own standpoint, that is to say, from the standpoint of Hinduism, of Christianity and Islam. You must have made, you must have, ideas must have been very clear to you that as far as the concept of God is concerned, the basic concepts, the basic ideas, the basic conceptions about the God, about the supreme reality is concerned, there is absolutely no difference between the interpretations given by these three religions. Now, that is the truth, that is the fact, but there are, there are uh, differences in the details, but we are not here to go to the details of the differences. That will foil the purpose of this grand meeting. On the contrary, on the other hand, I would like to emphasize the common points say we believe in God, all of us, Hindus, Islam, Muslims, Christianity, everyone, the Supreme God, we accept Him as the Supreme, as the Supreme Reality, as the Supreme God, as I said earlier, the, the source, the sustenance and the sanctuary of this universe. So as far as that is concerned, every one of us believe and therefore, in the name of God, in the name of truth, in the name of Almighty, in the name of the All-Compassionate, in the name of the All-Merciful, Lord, all the 500, 500 crores of humanity must unite. We must all unite in the name of the Most Supreme Lord, the All-Powerful, the All-Compassionate Lord. We must be one. Nothing should divide us because we all believe in Him, in the Supreme Being. There we all agree. There, there is no difference in the vibrations in the human heart as far as accepting the most essential part of the religion is concerned. We accept the God as the Almighty, the All-Merciful, Supreme. And in His name, we are one. All the 600 crores of human beings, we are one. There is no difference. There is no difference. And we are here not 